Hey guys, Boz here. So this is a raid video. Sadly, uh, the raid E here did not message me at all. Didn't tell me he was raiding. So luckily I caught part of it. Uh, I wish people would let me know. I think this person had a dastardly raid planned and didn't really want to tell anybody. This is Saiku, and he's basically raiding poker, uh, shots, Mario, basically all the people who raided him. They didn't really raid him. They attempted to raid him. You, if you saw the last video, they set off one C4 on his roof, did negligible damage, uh, didn't even get in, and then he killed them all. But he decided to not raid them while they were online. He took the more cowardly approach. It's a valid approach. I'm not a fan of it. Uh, and he's taken every move he can here to protect himself. He's actually destroying the sleeping bags. Now, generally, we've not seen anyone raid at this harsh of a level. But he took out all their sleeping bags. Now, here's how he got in. This is, uh, he jumped on those furnaces, spidered up the wall, and then came in through the top. So, that was the approach here. He's going ahead, he's looted pretty much everything on this first floor already. But you notice he didn't kill them yet. He killed their sleeping bags first, so that if they would come on after dying, although they're still alive, they wouldn't respawn here. And you can see now he's decided, okay, I broke everything on this level. He basically slaughters them all. They have no way now of respawning back at this base. They're all dead because he took out their sleeping bags. He's basically looted this entire level. He actually busted some fireplaces. Now he's taken even further steps. This is the only way in or out of this base, short of the trick to come in like he used. He's walling that off, putting up armored walls, or sheet metal, I should say. And then he's going to go up to the next level, and he's going to put sheet metal down here on the floor also. So that if they would get in on the bottom floor, it's almost impossible to get up to him. Now, they could spider. And this is going to give him all the time he needs to continue to loot stuff. So, I mean, this is a pretty treacherous raid. We've yet to see anyone destroy the other team's sleeping bags um, and go to this level of treachery. Uh, I think this was kind of overkill for a team that literally set off one C4 and then lost the fight to him. Uh, and the fact that he didn't tell me kind of sucks because I'd really like to show it. But sadly, he went for this treacherous route. Um, not a fan of it myself. I think it was kind of overkill, especially for people you know. Um, you know, obviously on a random Rust server, you expect others. And I'm sure Saiku has had this level of treachery done to him all the time on other Rust servers. So now what he's doing is, you know, this is how sneaky the guy is. He's actually got himself a little temporary base, again, in a mountain. He loves his mountain bases. And he's bringing stuff back to put it in here to go back and then get more stuff from the base and bring it here. And then that way he doesn't... He can get it out quicker and he can have it here and then he can transfer it from here to his full base, which is further away. Uh, so you can see here he's he's got this. And he actually expanded this base temporarily um, to make it have it even more chests and stuff in it because he got so much loot from them. Um, but, uh, you know, he is going hardcore. And like I said, I'm not a fan of offline raids. I wish he would have told me he was raiding. Now, we continue on here with... Uh, this is him, uh, but this is how he got in initially. This isn't the initial raid. This is him coming back after taking loot to his base. So, he's spidering up the wall... This is a, definitely a two flaws in the design of this base. And then he was able to blow up the ceiling earlier. And again, all that happened before I got on because he didn't tell me. So, uh, you know, then he comes back in here. I don't know what this floating character here is. I don't know. That looked like what he was wearing during one of the raids. So I don't know if that's like a, a glitch of Saiku or one of the other players. It's not me because if you want to see me, I'm down here somewhere on the floor. I float underneath and hide when I do the recordings. I'm invisible anyway, but I hide underneath, and there I am. And my character is actually a female character, but you can see. I just put myself in a god mode. And here, after he took the base, he decided to put a new sign up about under new ownership. And he can see how hardcore this guy is. He literally took off all of his gear while he was painting this sign, so if somebody killed him, he wouldn't drop the loot. And he's going to go back in 
to get the rest of the loot. And this is uh, him later meeting Cloud, and he's trying to offer her a deal, give her a gun and that. She doesn't want anything to do with it, with these uh, dirty goods, so he doesn't get it. Uh, but this guy, like I said, this is one of the harshest raids I've seen, especially for what um, the uh, people he raided did to him, which I felt was very, very low. So he's kind of like, um, kind of like the Grinch at uh, Christmas while he was still evil. Why that Grinch even took the last can of food? But hopefully you guys uh, liked these rust raids. Sadly, sometimes I don't get the footage I want because people don't let me know. Sometimes people don't know the new people. Um, sadly, Saiku knew that I wanted people to let me know, but for whatever reason, he didn't. So you don't get to see all of the raid, but you got to see some of it. Uh, the other group has vowed some retaliation. We'll see if it, if it comes to fruition. But hopefully you enjoy the video, and we'll see you next time.